Okay, steak and veggies down there. And then right away, we're gonna go in with our chicken broth, okay? All right, we're just gonna load all of that right into our coffee maker. And what I'm doing here is I'm perfecting my recipe for my Christmas dinner, okay? This is one of the fastest ways to cook a steak. It should be done faster than it takes you to finish and make a cup of coffee, okay? So this is gonna be one of the best methods, okay? This is my last chicken broth right here. And then we're gonna have this thing completely full. But once again, okay, what this is right here, we have our steak, okay? It's a T-bone steak. What I did was I cut out the, the New York strip right there. So I have the T-bone steak and some veggies down here. And then up top, we just have our Campbell's, okay? Right around here, we should be full, okay? So I can turn this bad boy on. I'm gonna flip it on. And like I said, this thing should be done in no time, just as fast as it takes you to make a cup of coffee. Okay, and then the best part, we're just gonna take some spaghetti, right? Okay, this is gonna be our little side dish. We're just gonna break that up right there and toss that all in this little compartment right here, okay? And then everything's just gonna come together. You guys are gonna see in just a moment. Okay, I can close that up. And now we have everything ready, okay? We can already see and hear it start to brew, okay? Here, let me just clean this off so I can show you guys, okay? This is my favorite part. What I did here was I took a T-bone steak, right? And I just cut out that, that beautiful New York strip right there, okay? And then I threw it in the pot, okay? And what a lot of people don't know is there's actually a hot plate down here on the bottom. So for all that sizzling in here, I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet for a moment so that you guys can hear all the sizzling. And, and look down there, it's starting to seam up. Okay, so we have it cooking from the hot, the hot chicken broth coming down from the top and then on the bottom there's the hot plate which is searing it from the bottom okay so it's cooking from the top and the bottom at the same time and i found that this is the fastest way to prepare for a christmas dinner okay I i'm so excited to show you guys how this turns out okay it it's coming along very very nicely okay oh and see you can hear it sizzle you can hear it crackle that's how you know it is cooking all the way through and it's gonna come out a beautiful, beautiful medium, okay? It's gonna come out a perfectly cooked steak, okay? And what it was, was it was just this beautiful T-bone right here. I just trimmed out that. That's my favorite part of the T-bone. It's like the New York strip. Uh, some people call it like the, the ribeye. It's whatever you wanna call it, it's the best part, my favorite, personal favorite. And it's gonna cook it perfectly to temp, okay? I'm gonna be able to cut this thing open and show you guys that it cooked all the way through. And then we also threw in some broccoli, okay? And some asparagus. And look, every the entire meal, even our spaghetti garnish, okay? Everything is cooking at the same time. That is the best part about this. That's why I love cooking this for my family on Christmas or big events, because I can just knock out one pot at a time. Like I said, it happens as fast as a cup of coffee. So I can just knock out cup after cup after cup and just serve all the plates at the same time. It's very, very quick and easy to do. That is why this is such a great recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a peek right here. See how it's fogging up? I'm just gonna give it a little stir, okay? Give it a little mix right there and try to get some of that fog to go away. And you hear that sizzle? That's how you know it's nice and hot. And we, we can see just a little here. You can kind of see that we have the, the steak you can see the fatty part right there, the steak. That's the, that's the meatiest that gives it a lot of the flavor. And the reason why we're using this chicken broth too is it's high in sodium, okay? So it gives it a nice flavoring, okay? So uh, we're gonna prep all of this at the same time here. I'm gonna take a peek up here. Oh yeah, I can show you guys this right here. I can show you guys this. This, this is one of my favorite parts right here, okay? Take a peek. I'm just gonna take a peek right up here and look. Yep, we got our spaghetti. That's our side dish right there. That's cooking at the same time for our garnish, okay? That is one of the greatest parts about this dish. You cook everything at once and it is so easy. Not too much work involved. We just let it sit and let it steam up like that, okay? And I can already see that it's starting to cook. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, this right here, I am super excited to show you guys how this is gonna turn out right here, okay? And then, like I said, for, 
for those of you that are watching, this is just a T-bone steak and I just cut out that, that New York strip right there. Yep, all of that right there, I just, I just cut that out and that's what I threw into the pot. Up top we got the spaghetti and then we're, we're cooking it all though with our chicken broth because it has more flavor than just water, okay? I've seen people do it with coffee steaks, okay? Coffee steaks, that does work. Coffee, you marinate it in the coffee grounds and then you let it rest overnight and then you throw it right in and then just make a cup of coffee with it. At the same time, you got yourself breakfast, okay? You, you can cook some eggs on the side as well or poach the eggs in here, but it is the best part about this dish. And not a lot of people know about this right here. Look, check this out. You can see all that steam. Look at that. Look at that steam. You see that? It's hot. It's nice and hot. Ooh, you don't want to touch it too long. But you can see it all fogged up here too. Let me stir it up so you guys can see a little bit more in there. Check that out. Yes. It is cooking all the way through and you can hear that sizzle. That is the best part about this dish. Everything is all in the same pot, cooking at the same time. And all you have to do is just ensure that you finish. It takes the same amount of time as a cup of coffee. And you're cooking a full steak in there. Steak and some veggies and some pasta for a side dish all at the same time that is why this is so easy and why i recommend everybody try this thing out okay here oh my goodness okay so it's going to be done right about now okay so what i'm going to do is i got my tongs here i'm going to start clearing up everything getting it ready okay i'm going to start uh, getting my plate ready but one last look let's take one last look at this beautiful beautiful t-bone that we we took the steak from okay we just cut out that new york strip right there and we threw that right inside here, okay? So I'm gonna set this out to the side. We could save this for tomorrow or another day. Or if my wife wants one. Hey, Jim, Jimmy, you want one? Jimmy, you want? Yeah. Yeah. You want? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make this right after for Jimmy. Um, I'm hungry. Yeah. No, I, I I'm hungry too, man. This is smelling amazing. Okay. But what what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna set all of this off to the side. And uh, Jimmy, I'll have yours coming up right after mine, okay? I'm gonna take mine out right now. Medium rare. Medium rare? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, we can do that. That's the best part. However long you want your steak to cook, you can just run it through another cycle, okay? We got, we got a couple of cans of chicken broth, not too much, but that's gonna give it that good flavoring, okay? You can also substitute it for water if you're trying to watch your, your sodium. Um, but really, this is just the best part right here, okay? I'm gonna take this off and then check out that hot plate right there. Okay, you can see the hot plate. Ooh, 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 right there. Yep. And listen to it sizzle, okay? You can see the steak is cooking all the way through. It is insane. Everything is cooking at the same time. That's why I'm so excited about this, okay? I'm gonna, sh I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. And my family, I know they love this. This is the easiest thing for me to cook, okay? When I'm trying to cook for a bunch of people, I always resort to one pan dishes or, or stuff like this where I can just cook everything at once and I don't have to think about it. Good. It smells good, right? I'm hungry. Yes, that is what I'm saying. So oh, I, we can hear it cooking. Yeah, you can hear it cooking, okay? You, that's the hot plate on the bottom that's cooking the, the steak in the whole mixture, the steak and the veggies from, veggies from the bottom. And then from the top, we have all that hot air. Look at that it steam. Look at that steam right there. It is so hot up here. Wow. Okay, and all that is is just our chicken broth, okay? And we have everything cooking in the same coffee pot, okay? Let me mix it up just to give you guys another good look. Oh, you can see it you can, you can see it cooking. Look at that. You can see it cooking in there, okay? So we're just gonna keep it in there. Here, let me, let me clear a plate, okay? I'm gonna get my plate ready because I'm gonna take it out right now. And it is ready for sure. I'm so excited to be sharing this and then listen to that sizzle. Is this my steak or yours? Uh, this one, this one's gonna be mine, okay? But I have yours right here off to the side. You wanna check it out? Yeah. Okay, right here, check it out. Look here. Oh my God. Look at that beautiful T-bone steak, okay? I'm gonna cut out that, uh, that New York strip for you, okay? Beauty. All right, yeah, I'm gonna cut all of that out for you. And then we're gonna throw it right into that pot like the one that we have in there. And I think it's about ready, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off right here and I'm just gonna plate it. Ah, let me just get that off, okay, perfect. All right, so yeah, here, let me take this thing off right here. Oh, yes. Smell that right there? 
Oh my goodness, you can almost see it cooked all the way through. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can spin it around. Oh, nice. I'm so excited. Okay. It looks like it needs just a little bit longer. Okay. So we're just going to let that sit and rest for just a little bit. Because like any steak, after you cook it, you got to let it sit for a moment. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out. Ooh. Wow. All of this should be ready right now. Oh, my gosh. That, that is ready. All of this should be ready oil, right oil now. Filling. Yep. Right That's there. Right oh. Right there. Perfect. Right there. Here, let me get all of this right here. All my veggies. Nice. Okay. Let me get out all my veggies, and I think it's all ready. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. The smell is actually really strong. Yeah. No, it's it's amazing. Is that chicken broth? Yep. Chicken broth. It has high sodium, so everything is seasoned and marinated all while it cooked. Nope, we're just getting the rest of our veggies out. Ooh, I dropped one right there. That's okay, though. We got plenty of veggies, and we can just make another pot if we need some more. And wow. Oh, my goodness. This is looking amazing, okay? Yep, this smells so, so good. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Okay, I'm ready for this. All right, so what we're gonna do, okay, we got all the veggies out. What we're gonna do is the steak. Here, I'm taking a peek right now. And, ah, looks like it needs just a little bit longer, not too long. Very, very easy, okay? We're gonna throw it right back on the coffee pot, okay? Right back in, hit it, and just like maybe two more minutes. Just like two more minutes, and then this thing is gonna be ready to go. Okay, we got all of our veggies ready though. Because the veggies, uh, it was a pretty thick piece of, of steak right there. It was a pretty thick piece. So I understand that's going to take a little bit longer. And, and especially because I want it cooked to my liking. Okay, uh, I, I like my steaks medium rare. And as soon as that thing is ready to go, I can show you guys. I'm going to set all my veggies off to the side though and get everything ready. And I want you guys to be able to see everything. So I'm going to make room for everything. I'm going to cut it open. I'm going to show you guys how perfectly this coffee pot right here cooks your steak. And you can see right in there, just that little piece right there. You can see it is cooking. It's just not quite finished yet. And I want it cooked to my liking, okay? Uh, it's my own personal preference. You can throw it in for as long as you want. You can throw it in for very, very quickly. But like I said, this is faster than a cup of coffee and you're cooking an entire T-bone steak, okay? Or you're cutting, you're cooking an entire piece of steak, okay? And so what I did was I, I cut that New York strip right there out from, from, from the T-bone steak. I cut that whole beautiful piece right there and threw it right into the coffee pot. And now we are cooking it for everyone to see, okay? I, I want you guys to check this out. This thing is just about finished now. And then here I have my veggies here set off to the side. And this is going to be delicious, okay? And here, check this out, you guys. I, I, just to show you guys that this thing is cooked perfectly, okay? I'm gonna take a bite. Uh, mm, mm. Oh. Ooh. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so, yep, no, nah, that is cooked perfectly. All of our veggie, veggies are fully cooked. And then inside right there, we got the hot plate on the bottom. And we got that, that chicken broth right there dripping down from the, from the top with the high sodium. And check that out. You know what that is in there? That is all the juices from our steak. All marinating with the chicken broth. That's why this thing is so flavorful. Okay, so I, I believe it's been enough time now. I think we are ready. Uh, I, I think my steak is cooked to my liking. So here, what I'm gonna do, I could, I could turn this off now. I'll let that sit on the heat right there. I'm gonna prepare everything, okay? I, I really like to season my, my plate, okay? So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this steak seasoning right onto the plate. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer it directly from the pot straight into the, onto the plate. Just so everything is all seasoned and all ready to go, okay? Can't go wrong with a little bit of seasoning, okay? A little bit of uh, salt right there, okay? Just sprinkle that all onto the plate, okay? And we're gonna throw the steak right on top, okay? It is ready. I'm ready to show you guys how perfectly this T-bone steak is cooked, okay? So here, I'm gonna, here, let me actually just make room for this, okay? I'm gonna set everything off to the side. Here, move this, and there, boom, okay? So you guys can see everything. You guys can see what I did here was I, I just took, here, let me just place this on top so I can protect my table, okay? So what I did here was I took this coffee pot, right? I got a full T-bone steak. Here, let me open this thing up so I can show you guys that I'm, I'm, this thing is ready. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it, check that out. Can you guys see that right there? Yeah, check that out. That thing is fully cooked. And then you can see right in there, you can see the side of it. So we have the steak, okay? So what I did though, was I took this, this full T-bone steak, right? I cut off the New York strip right there. And what I did was I threw it right into this coffee pot. Cause see there on the bottom, that's the hot plate. And then up top we had chicken broth right here, just dripping down to really marinate our steak while it cooked, okay? We had our veggies in there as well. And oh, I completely forgot, okay? Here, I'm gonna keep that open right there. Almost forgot about my spaghetti. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay, perfect here. Oh, okay, my spaghetti looks like it still needs uh, another cycle. So we're, we're not too worried about that. That's just a side dish, okay? What I am gonna do though is here, I, I'm gonna take out the steak right now. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna cut it open for you and show you guys how perfectly this thing was cooked, okay? So let's do this, three, two, ooh, oh yes, perfect. And let me plate this thing for you guys. Is it ready? Yes, it is. Wow. Boom, and great. check that out, oh, okay? I'm gonna throw this right here. And watch, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut right in, okay? Grab your fork, okay? Oh, Grab wow. a knife and check this out. You guys are gonna see perfectly cooked. And show me, show me. Bam! Oh, look at that! Perfectly cooked all the way through, a medium rare. That looks delicious.